We're doing hard work. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we move these shelves a good two inches to the right. Yeah, Thanks a lot. It making it sound like we were making fire sparks. You sound like Hammer Simpson about manual labor. <laughs> Yay, more progress on our show. Uh, that's not, that's a studio room, not a showroom, honestly, showroom. We got new, uh, new shelves. Uh, filling the empty wall, remember that wall behind me? It's getting filled oh, with uh, new dark shelves. Yeah, so that okay. way we can move all the unnecessary stuff from the warehouse in here so that the warehouse can be cleaned and then we can get back to setting up, guess what? The city. This will be like a perfect spot for that 4K TV, but we broke it on the move, remember? Ouch. Oh, we actually had some surface here. Like, who could have known? It was hidden the whole time. It was there all the time. No, that's a Comic Con box. Keep it nice. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, oh, so this guy will finally find some spot falcon, somewhere oh, out there. Yeah. Right now, right here. One of the there, yeah. Do we have some space here still? Oh, yeah. Please crash. Okay, we need content. Crash? No. Ready? Setting. Oh yeah. boy, this does work. There you go, there you go. Good. And then in. Boy. <laughs> there we go. Are you stuck? No, no, no. I'm, I'm putting it in. That moved enough. Yeah. Maybe. Going out of this space. It's perfect. We can even get it. That's awesome. Hey, Actually, is there a barrier there? Oh yeah, that's as far as the back legs go. There is no messing around, guys. The last time we were run out, running out of space, now we're squeezing every single inch. Squeezing every single inch out of that room if we can. I was, I was telling Trey, I was like, it's just tight enough. It's like, just... Somebody like, make those to fit this room. <laughs> like, like this. honestly. This thing is like, wedged underneath you now, which is really funny. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, and it's, I mean, that was basically... Good. I mean, better than last time. Yeah, way better. It's clean. Yeah. It actually looks cool when the sun from the afternoon comes in here. It's like a golden hour, like it can illuminate the bricks behind me. So, so nice and warm. So actually warehouse is uh, cleaned mostly. I mean, we got the big trash out. That pile I was standing here with that nails and the wood and stuff, it's gone. Tomorrow, this morning was gone. So now uh, we're just gonna move everything from those tables and get the real estate on the shelves working for its uh, for its purpose. That's awesome. Great, see? The sun is just like, ooh, getting through the windows. It's like, it feels really nice in here, actually. It's warm, it's nice. San Diego is actually getting back to springtime, which means warm weather and sunny days all year round, again. Yay, <laughs> it's actually pretty awesome. So just all that stuff needs to be taken out at some point. We're gonna use some of it. This is a, actually a build table that we use in the old studio, so that might be kept. These are the old shelves from the um, old studio. And these are all the old stands, because we redesigned the ones with like more real estate and they just fit perfectly in that bag. Like, I don't know, it's like a 40, 50 stands in there. To give you a bit of context, the girl is Aviana. She's a superhero. She wanted, she was ambushed while out of her armor. 
Do you guys like the new format of the uh, fan mocks? I think that's, I like it because we can appreciate the actual messages that we get in those emails and every person gets mentioned and shown in a proper fashion with commentary. I think it's a good idea to have that. We're gonna experiment with that for a few more weeks. For now, it's uh, Jack was just working on the second episode that should actually be out before this vlog is published. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let us know in the comment section what you think about those. Mm -hmm. Okay, success! Now the whole room is fully fitted in with those shelves, which is pretty awesome. And the last thing we did this week to, to make it look even better is that we finally got our um, 8080 up. Uh, this bug bo big bad boy is from Cave God. This guy, remember, you longtime viewers, this was standing in my office in the old studio and it was pretty much collapsed, decomposing. Well, that's too much, but it was broken down in a box uh, for such a long time, we didn't even touch it after we moved here and the whole stand was just sitting in our office for no real reason and the whole body was in a box. And on the other side, we have the sand crawler that's back in its former glory. I think they even fixed everything so that broken off. So this guy was standing in a warehouse for such a long time. And the whole reason of this is that these guys actually are sort of a display pieces for the windows. So once, uh, you know, we're gonna have some guests in this office, for example, everybody walking through this corridor from the front door will be seeing the 8080 behind the glass right here. That's gonna be our building room, you know, all like decked out and everything. This is gonna be like a closed door. And then the sand crawler is on the other side, which is pretty awesome. It's just a massive, great display piece. We have both of these guys here. And honestly, I could not think of a better place for them to be displayed, don't you think? And then the room just opens its awesomeness. This is finally starting to look the way we want it to look. And we're super happy. Oh, did you guys see this guy? The Ultimate Collector Series Colonial Viper from Battlestar Galactica. Jack did a video on this, so we got videos on the spinner, on the on the Viper that just came out. Uh, the instructions for this big bad boy along with the parses are available in our web store as per usual, www.brickvault.toys. And I want to highly thank you for all the support in advance, because you guys are awesome and any support you are give us keeps us going, allows us to make those mocks and invest in more awesome things for the studio. Thanks. To you. Really appreciate it. And that's a roll of real estate for upcoming mocks. This is the first one to sit on that beautiful shelf and well, hopefully we're gonna fit all those shelves gradually with amazing mocks in the future. Alright. Also this week we got a hold of the Flintstones, so if you guys did not see the review yet, it was a bit of a long one because kind of like went into the set full on with like a 20 minute review. The set is actually right here on display. I think right next to the Jurassic World it would be a perfect fit, don't you think? I mean that T-Rex next to the Flintstones house looks scary and just in place for some reason. And this week there was one more set that I was super excited about, the 1967 Mustang. The review was a nice piece of work, I really liked it. And I have to be really quiet because Jack is recording the Mox video and I wanna get noticed. I think he just noticed me. I think he did. Oh Why snap. Quick, move and don't make any sudden moves. We're just gonna get this big bad boy. Ah, oh, the jet is flying over! This is honestly such a great car. Being a Mustang fan, it's a no-brainer pretty much. I've been seeing those Speed Champions tanks just coming out and I was hoping just, come on Lego, just you have the Ford license, get this big bad boy a proper scaled model. I think this set just required a proper justified, full-on edited, nicely shot review. And I think I, I managed to bring it on and uh, you guys enjoyed it. So yeah, I think it worked out. How do you feel about the new setup in your room, Ramon? Way better. Better, right? Yeah. Like with all the real estate? I mean, we're not even close to doing I know, but, like, but still, like, all the new shelves yeah, are pretty all the cool. New shelves, all the new space. It's already full. And you have two guardians by the door. Oh, yeah, I know. There's but, one. Yeah. There is two. Protectors of the day. Protectors of Ramon. Night, night lab. <laughs> 
A quick update guys, we received the tiles that were missing from last week. Remember, we were tiling out the Yavin. It has begun. Bunch of 1x4s, I think there's a whole box of them. There's a bunch of... Oh, there they are. Yeah, those are... Let me just show you. Yep, 2x2s should be enough, right? And we shall tile every single empty bit of that base right now, so uh, yeah. And that's gonna be it for this week's vlog update. This was more of a like furniture vlog because we are fitting this room instead of the uh, display room for this week. So I think that was pretty awesome that Jack was manage managed to actually find these shelves in a proper store. We couldn't really find them for weeks. We got a bunch of them and now the, this room is actually getting to where we want it to be, which is awesome. And uh, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I appreciate you guys very much. If you enjoy our videos, our reviews, our vlogs, anything we put out, leave a like below, subscribe if you haven't already, and click the bell button to get notified for the videos we make. We really appreciate it. Mike, Ramon, and Jack, everybody was in this vlog, I think. And we'll see you next time on Brick Vault. Bye-bye. Whoop, I just gotta turn the camera off. Beep. Yeah, you'll see about that more soon. Maybe that's just me.